Hey guys, how's it going? We're back for another episode of Licking the Battery. Today we're heading out to Cahuilla Creek MX Park in Anza, California for the OT MX series. It's the old timers MX series. So you got 40 plus, 50 plus, 60 plus even. There's guys that are almost 80 years old racing out here. It's incredible. But they also have a support class for younger guys. So older guys as kids and stuff. Um, and it's typically what I race. It's, it's more or less a fun race, but sometimes we'll get some quick guys show up and you know, it makes for some good battles. So I'm hoping that happens today so that I can give you guys some good entertainment. Um, another reason I like racing these is because they're longer motos. So usual local series race in Southern California, it'll be like four or five laps and the races are short, like 10 minutes. 12 minutes or so. These old time races though, they do 18 minutes plus one lap. So it's the longer motos, you have to pace yourself. Um, and you know, honestly, it's a cool test for the electric bike. It'll really show you uh, with a, you know, let's say a skilled rider, uh, you know, how much range you can get out of a, a full charge on one of these bikes, pushing hard as you can the entire time. And uh, so we'll show you that today. and. Uh, you can see the bikes in the back come along for the ride and I hope you all enjoy. If you do enjoy, smash that like button, subscribe, you know, the whole jargon. Honestly, you don't have to do that, but uh, you know, I'd appreciate it. So here we go. All right, we're out here at Kawea today racing uh, the final race of the year for the old timer MX group. Should be a fun day. Got my uh, electrical tape numbers looking official. <laughs> I think I did a pretty good job. But uh, a little cold, but good turnout, and uh, I think it's going to be a good time. So stay tuned. I'll try to uh, post a lot of stuff today. Send in it again on the Alta. See how she goes. Did you get your generator set up somewhere off the side? Yeah, of the it's perfectly tuned. It's running prime. <laughs> Where are the solar panels at? Hey, but when I get the cyber truck, I won't even need a generator. I'll just charge off the truck. There you go. <laughs> Running VP in that thing or what? Uh, no, just straight uh, 87 in the generator. It's good. Yeah. yeah. Hey, it's really good it's the same electrons no matter what. So I installed my whole shot device, but we don't even need it. It's a concrete start. Yeah. And there's it's just sand. <laughs> I'm probably gonna be like leaning off the back of the back fender, <laughs> like. <laughs>
You got me covered. Well, I uh, I got tired. That was a fun race though. Battling with that guy, he had me covered though. But yeah, look, full battery, blinking. He used all of it, so. When you're pushing hard, tracks fast, and uh, it's sandy, <laughs> you're definitely gonna use all the battery. That's for sure. Now let's charge this thing back up for the next moto. Start the old generator. Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> hey, you'll have one one day. You'll get one. <laughs> it's hard not hearing that thing, man. Dude, you're, you you're rip. How old are you? 22. 22? <laughs> I'm 35. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I was holding you up as long as I could. But you definitely have me covered. You have way better fitness than me. <laughs> but that was super fun, man. I was trying to, like, stay with you when you got me, and then you just took off. I was like, man, I don't want to pass him because I can't hear where he's going. <laughs> I was thinking about like just diving on the inside of you, like scaring the <laughs> shit out of you. <laughs> it's got like 450 power. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's definitely faster at 250F. But you got me like, your corner speed is awesome, dude. You're really ripping. Oh, it's got a bug. <laughs> yeah! Uh, <laughs> you gotta turn the gas on! What is going on with that? Thing? Yeah, I spun so bad that first time. Yeah. But the bike was just like sideways. Get off the track. It definitely sounds like a bad guy. Good luck, buddy. <laughs>
I've been covered so bad. Oh, I'm tired. Nothing like, nothing like racing a 20 year old as a 35 year old. Oh man. I'm so tired. I'm so tired.
my god! <laughs> So tired. Ah. Where did that kid go? Oh, he, he, he did. Well, you and him were just killing yeah. each other, man. I love that. Yeah. That's yeah. What right That's What'd you think racing against an electric bike? Was that the first time? No, I've never done that. Before. Yeah? Dude, I wish I could let you ride this, but the battery's dead. Oh, that's alright. <laughs> yeah, dope. Dude, that was so much fun, though, man. Oh, you got me a lot quicker that time. <laughs> I'm like spent. Yeah. Yeah, that first moto was good. I, I watched you guys. I was like, yeah. Man. <laughs> I wish I was still in my 20s. <laughs> but thanks for a good time, man. Sure. Just wanted to give you a pound. That was fun as hell. I'll catch you around. <laughs> All right, guys, that's a wrap. We're back here in the garage. Uh, what an awesome day of racing. Always a fun time with the OTMX crew, especially at Kuiya. Even though it's the vet track, it's still so fun. Track is pretty easy for my skill level. You probably noticed I was over jumping some of the jumps and whatnot. We're just going so fast that, you know, some of those jumps, you know, are a little too peaky for the speed that we're hitting us, 
I guess more skilled guys, you can say. Um, but man, you guys saw I was battling with that guy on the 250F. He was a much younger guy, definitely had me covered, but it was fun that first moto holding him off for, I think it was like five or six laps. Um, and then he snuck by me and I just had nothing left. I was just hanging off for dear life there at the end. And then uh, also that second moto, I hold him, I held him off for like three laps, I think he got me. Uh, and then he just took off, like I said. And I was mentioned in the video, I was smoked. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm in my 30s, you know, I don't really train hard, you know, uh, my fitness can definitely improve. So I'll, maybe I'll be working on that for next time. I think it would be cool to go over some points that maybe you guys might have questions about as you watch some of the footage. Uh, so first off is, you know, everybody wonders about battery range, right? Um, so you guys noticed this was, uh, these races were 18 minutes plus one lap. And uh, we were going pretty fast the entire time, especially with that guy pushing me from behind. Uh, I didn't really have any chance to dial it back and settle into a groove. It was just constant push, push, push. And if you notice, uh, basically like a lap or two to go, in the bottom right of the display, a, a yellow light came on. And that basically means that the, the state of charge is super low and uh, it starts reducing power just a little bit. Um, you, you could tell. My wife is watching football. <laughs> yes, wife. Would you come here? Oh no. Come here, wife. Sit down and say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. This is my wife. <laughs> She's sometimes a bigger dirt bike fan than I am, right? What do you think about Barsha? Is Barsha gonna win A1? If he does, so what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so at the end of the race there, the first moto, um, the battery was on the lower end and, uh, you know, I still had enough power to hit everything. I was still jumping everything. It was just a reduced power. And frankly, it's almost a good thing because at the end of your moto, you're pretty tired and to have a little bit of mellowed power out, uh, sometimes it's a good thing. It might be a little safer for you when you're tired, but to put it into perspective, what does it feel like? So right off the line, this thing with a full charge is insane. It's got so much power. As you guys saw the first moto, uh, I spun out of the gate and then tracked and then caught up to the guy on the 450, the CR450, and then snuck on the inside and then was just gone. Um, and then the second moto, you saw I had a fatty hole shot. That was sweet. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I was like waving. I don't know, I just thought it was funny. But um, yeah, so range, um, you know, when you're pushing that, that, that hard, you know, it's, you know, 20 minutes, you know, track like that when it's higher speed and it's softer dirt, 20 minutes on this battery is about what you're going to get. And for most people, it's plenty, right? You know, I was able to do that race. It's actually a little longer than typical races here locally. So uh, I was able to do it just fine. Um, and then also in the second moto, I ended up, you know, using the entire battery as well. So um, just to give you a sense of what the range is. And then, as you can imagine, the first moto I used battery, uh, used the whole battery. And uh, I had the charge between motos. So you saw me come back and pop it on the charger real quick, immediately put it on the generator, charged it up. Um, and... Uh, Thankfully, there were uh, five different races, all doing roughly 20, 22 minute races. So I had uh, plenty of time to recharge between motos. Typically um, on 240 volt on a generator, um, it'll basically take uh, an, roughly an hour and a half, somewhere around there uh, to recharge it from fully dead to full. Uh, but chances are, your normal going out to the track, you know, for a practice day, you're never really going to use the entire battery. You're probably going to go out there and use like two thirds of it. And then you have like an hour recharge time. Um, so it's not really that bad. Oftentimes I'll bring a second bike just to ride while the bike's charging though. Um, so some of you might want to consider that if you're thinking about getting an electric bike. And then uh, the other thing, um, nobody can hear me coming. So 
a lot of times you heard me yelling like, hey, hey, hey. Well, if you think about it on a gas bike, you have your engine and you're revving, your, especially if you're a faster guy coming up on slower guys, you're revving your engine and they can hear you come in and they know just to kind of like stay out of the race line, not to like move out of the way, right? I'm not like asking them to move out of the way, but um, just to stay out of the race line so it's safe for them and me as, I, as I'm going by them. Um, but on the Alta, man, they cannot hear you coming. On an electric dirt bike, people in front of you cannot hear you. And so the only thing you really can do if you, let's say if you don't have a horn, is yell. <laughs> and so plain and simple, that's why I was yelling, right? Uh, just to let guys know that I was there, that I was, you know, coming, coming by them or whatever, not to like do anything silly. A few times you guys probably saw it got a little close. Uh, there was one like right after that finish line there. I like almost parked the guy in the berm because I had the guy right behind me. And we were battling. So like I didn't want to give up that spot there. So that's something you'll have to adjust to owning an electric dirt bike for sure. The other part about charging that you guys may have noticed is I had a bucket with a fan on it spraying water at the bike. And the reason I do that is because it's just like, you know, your cell phone where um, you have like a, a rapid charger for your cell phone. If you feel the phone, the battery gets pretty warm when you're doing that. So what I do is I use a five gallon bucket with water in it and I spray misted water at the external part of the battery. Um, and of course, also there's a fan component to that. So it's actually moving heat away from the battery. Um, and so that's the point is you, while it's fast charging, which raises the temperature of the battery, you're using that to keep the temperature down so that when you hop on it the next time for your next moto, you're not starting off with a warm battery and you have a bigger window from cool to that thermal limit. Um, so these bikes will throttle the power a little bit if it gets too hot. Um, so, and I especially noticed that on you know, really hot days in Southern California, like it'll be a hundred degrees out and, um, you know, I'll go out and do my moto and no matter what I do, tail end of the moto, especially definitely hit thermal throttling. So hopefully with the new bike coming out, that'll be a little bit better with the battery design, but TBD. So one more thing, this bike gets a lot of attention. That's for sure. Uh, it's not every day you see somebody out there ripping an electric dirt bike, especially you know, putting it up, uh, putting it up against the gas bikes. And, uh, you know, for me, it's so much fun. I enjoy, you know, that excitement from fans and spectators. Um, it's cool to talk to people and just like answer their questions. It's really cool to see them curious about it. And, you know, I think, I think it's going to be pretty normal for you to see a bunch of electric dirt bikes at the track here pretty soon. So, um, why not adopt it sooner rather than later? Jump on and, and enjoy it because there's so much fun. Yeah, so we finished 2-2 uh, on the day. It was pretty rad. Uh, I raced the expert support class. Support is basically the class where, you know, younger guys for the old timer group uh, can go and race. So typically it's like the older guys' kids or friends or whatever, or guys like me that know some of the older guys that just go to have fun. And it's a great time. Um, but I just figured I'll race expert. Why not? It'll, maybe somebody will show up. It'll give me more competition. They wound up combining all the classes anyway. So we just had a gate, a gate of 20 guys. <laughs> um, and, man, you saw some of the riders out there were sketchy. Like, dude was out there on a TTR 230, I think it was, or whatever that is. Um, just like rolling around. I think I lapped him on the second lap. <laughs> like, so you have all skill ranges and races like that. That does get sketchy as well. But again, it's mostly for fun anyway. This isn't really like a points paying series or anything. So um, I don't mind it. Like I said, it's all for fun. But anyways, I had a lot of fun today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. And uh, let me know if you guys have any questions that I can answer for you. Um, I know a lot about these bikes. I've had this thing for over four years now, been putting it to the test, racing it on some of SoCal's finest tracks. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just the beginning, man.
next era is coming with the Stark Varg, so I'm super, super pumped about that. Um, so, if you guys liked it, like. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I feel corny for saying that, but, uh, you know, if you feel like doing it, help me out. All right, we'll see you in the next one. See ya.